Hey, we're Muna, and we covered Celine Dion's My Heart Will Go On for Like a Virgin. Every night in my dreams, I see you. This song is a song that I have always loved, and it took us a while to figure out. Originally, we thought we were gonna do like a dance version of this song, but then we decided to do more of a folk version, so it kind of went through a couple iterations. Yeah, we love Celine, and we thought it was time to give her her flowers, so we really are glad that we made this song work. Did you hear my tummy just now? Yeah, yeah I did. <laughs> I think everyone grew up watching the Titanic and being like, this is the sexiest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> and we just wanted to do the sexiest shit we've ever seen, but between the three of us. <laughs> In a friendly way. In a friendly way, and to to give the lesbians a new rendition of the iconic haircut, you know, <laughs> <laughs> to harken back. You talking about Leo's haircut? Yeah, yeah. That is that. Joe was... is one of the most amazing orators to have ever lived. <laughs> you guys don't understand the connections that are happening. You don't. It's it's you. You can't. Very few can. You cannot comprehend. Yep. I think we just um, appreciate the challenge of like reflecting a different emotion in a song than might be there in the original because we are kind of genreless as a band. Like on our records, we have songs that are more country or more acoustic, and then we have songs that are super synth pop. So I think like a Muna cover is like we just want to put a spin on whatever. It is. I appreciate that we didn't put it in a key that would be as hard to sing as the original Celine key. Um, thank you to my bandmates. I, but I'm glad that we still did. We were like debating whether or not to still do key a key change, and we changed the key change slightly. Um, the original one is so epic, but I think it like it only makes sense if you have like an actual orchestral arrangement. So we did a slightly different one, but I'm glad that we still kept that. You are. My best friend's brother is obsessed with the Wiggles and he found out that we were doing this and he, he calls it la, like a like a virgin because yeah, yeah. he doesn't like know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, he, uh, he, regardless, shout out to the Wiggles uh, like a virgin. Yeah. I think, what, uh, what song do they do by Tame Impala? Um, Elephant, right? Um, Cool. So definitely shout out to that and shout out to Johnny. Yeah, yeah, shout out to Johnny and shout out to the Wiggles. I've watched the Aurora, like a version um, where it's she massive did massive attack, right? Yeah, yeah, she did cool. teardrop yeah. like, many times because it's just absolutely unreal. Dude, such a cool song. I know. The Childish Gambino one is great too. Yeah. I mean, I think yeah. I'm sure most people the most have seen that one. Ones. Yeah. I think I'm did Shania, and I really loved it. Yeah, so shout it's out a, to an iconic song. Yeah, shout out to Himes, like a version. Yeah, there's so I love just getting in the YouTube hole, like a version hole. So thank you for your service and all that you do. I think a cover kind of strips the song down to its like bare parts, and if the song can't stand up to just being the song, then like you have nothing to work with. But I mean like. A good cover just, you gotta have a good song to to start the bones up and also maybe show a new element of the song that the original, like, didn't get to. It's like, you mm -hmm. know, Nina Simone is like one of the greatest, you know, musicians of like all time mm -hmm. and like the thing that she really did the best was like show sadness and covers mm -hmm. that like people didn't know were, you know, yeah. there already. Yeah, definitely. I think if you're doing like musical magic tricks where you're really changing the genre of a song, um, or making a melody like sound different, doing a totally. rehearsal. You can have a really good cover, but you can't have a great cover unless the song itself is yeah, really there absolutely. and speaks to somebody's heart. This is definitely something that we've wanted to check off the old list, so we were very um, humbled and honored to be asked to swing by and to do it, and we're it's our first time in Australia ever, and that's been a treat as well. So yeah, yeah, we're just, we're chuffed. Getting to come to Australia, it's something that we've wanted to do for a long time. And there's certain things that you see as like, this is what um, like real musicians get to do. And like a version, I think is one of those totally. things. So it just feels really nice to be here. Not that I'm actually 
processing that and internalizing that not in my at body. All. Never. I'm dissociating. Do I, do I feel successful? No, Never. I don't. No, but, of course not. No. But maybe <laughs> years from now, I'll look back and say that this was the best time in my life. And oh, that is filled with regret. Yeah. <laughs> about how maybe depressed I was at the time. Yeah. <laughs> Ten <laughs> albums later. Anyways. <laughs> Glad to be here. <laughs> Glad to be here, sad in general, but this is a highlight. Thank you. <laughs>